U.S. oil prices fell heavily on Monday and slipped below $15 a barrel on renewed storage concerns as the coronavirus throttles demand, even as producers start slashing outputs to boost markets. American benchmark West Texas Intermediate dropped 15% to 14.39 a barrel in Asian afternoon trade, reversing direction after several days of gains last week. Brent crude, the international benchmark, was off nearly 6% at $20 a barrel. Oil prices have collapsed in recent weeks as demand evaporated because of lockdowns and travel restrictions imposed worldwide to fight the virus. Last week, U.S. oil fell below zero for the first time as investors scrambled to offload it before the expiry of a trading contract but could not readily uh, find buyers. Prices have recovered since but remain at their lowest levels for years. A key worry for traders in that storage facilities, particularly in the United States, cannot cope with the oversupply. Top producers have agreed to reduce output by 10 million barrels a day from May to shore up markets, a deal that marked an end to a price war between Russia and Saudi Arabia. And now we are joined by an oil marketer, I.K. Okoli. Good morning, Mr. Okoli. Good morning. Good to have you. Now, what are the implications of this drop in cost of oil per barrel? Well, the clear implication is going to be felt on uh, our budget. Uh, clearly, we had a budget for um, 2020 a benchmark price of $57 a barrel. Um, but clearly, with uh, oil in particular, let's say Bonnie Light trading at $14.67 per barrel, um, we're not going to be able to um, fulfill our budgetary requirements for 2020. So much so, I believe a new budget has been uh, proposed by the federal government. Even that at a benchmark price of $30 per barrel um, shows at the moment um, a considerable shortfall in revenue for, for, for the government. Mm -hmm. So what are now, the recommendations uh, that you would give in this situation? Wow. Um, not being a politician, um, and I'm sure they have all kinds of political angles to consider, not just straightforward economics and, and business. But um, in the short term, um, in these kind of situations, the only thing um, you can really do is to cut down the budget, which I can see they've done in their proposals. They've reduced proposed capital spending um, and all sorts of other um, spending in the 2020 budget. Um, However, to talk of solutions, we have to talk at least in the medium or the long term. Um, reacting to oil and in such an industry in the short term is not something that, 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 that's going to help us too much. We need to be talking at least about the med uh, medium and long term. And there we do see solutions, even if oil doesn't uh, recover to its historical high, uh, high, high prices. All right, thank you so very much, Mr. Okoli, for your thoughts there, and keep safe out there. Thank you very much.